Vic? Here. Five members present and a quorum. Awesome. All right. So let's have the approval of the minutes from September 17th, 2018. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposition? Any abstentions? The minutes are approved. Anyone here uh, to make neighborhood council comments? No. Anyone here for public comment? No. All right. Let's move on to item number one. Are there any um, comments for item one? Public comment? No? All right. <coughs> so I have an update on the LA City Health Commission vacancies. That's the item number one. You can't hear me? Directly into the mic. Are you there? Okay. I'll come close. All right. Is that better? Yeah. That's now okay. I can. Perfect. So, item number one is update on Los Angeles City Health Commission vacancies. So, on October 8th, I sent an email to one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, council members who had vacancies on the Health Commission. Gil Cedillo, Bloomingfield, Martinez, Rodriguez, Englander, and O'Farrell. I received a confirmation of re email from one, two, three, four of those, Cedillo, Bloomingfield, Englander, and O'Farrell. And I received no response from the chiefs of staff from Martinez and Rodriguez's office. Um, as of today, um, there was a, can a candidate put forward by Cedillo's office. Um, I don't know if the letter was officially received um, from Gil Cedillo's office. No, not yet. Okay, so we're waiting for that, but we do have someone, uh, one vacancy that is filled, so that um, those emails did produce some effort, and I will work to follow up on those. Um, there was also a response from Bloomingfield's office. Um, to try to vet some of the candidates that I, ha I had placed forward uh, for them. So I'll try to reach back to her, um, but I need to make sure that um, I follow up with the other, what, one, two, three, five. So as of now, we'll hopefully have one that will be joining us next month. So that would bring us to 11, I think. If we had two, is that right? We have nine or 10 now? Nine. We have nine, I think. Nine. Yeah. We have nine. So we can get maybe to 11. Ten. With with uh, Council Member Cedillo, that would be 10, ten. and with Blumenfield, 11. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll keep working. Yeah. Um, and thanks to um, everyone that helped, we, we kind of put this email together really quickly um, and sent it out. So I'll follow up with them and see. I'm most concerned about the ones that didn't respond at all. Um, most of them responded to some extent, but there were some two that didn't respond at all. So that's the update on uh, health commission vacancies. And any comments, questions? You, you were contacting the chief of staff in yes. each case? Yeah. Yes, in each office. So um, you sent the names of the, the six that had applied to each of them, and they chose whoever? Well, so Cedillo's office picked someone themselves. They didn't pick from the group, okay. but I did offer those. I sent them the resumes and linked them to the file so they could see those applications or resumes. Um, but as, so far, no one has picked from that list. I think what I'm hearing, um, not officially, but sort of the, some of the responses are, are, is anyone in this group from council district blah, 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 and that's not the way we necessarily vetted those folks that came in. Um, so it sounds like they are interested in working with people that live or work in their community, which makes sense. Um, so that may be a barrier because I think a lot of the folks that um, submitted will either live or work maybe closer to downtown, but not in the districts that, um, are, that have vacancies. So I think that's one of the issues. Um, and what I can do is 
respond to them. So that could be also a, a follow up. Hey, they don't have to live in that council district. They just need to live in the city. Um, but I, I mean, I, I understand from the council member's perspective, they want someone to represent where they live. So that's pretty much been the response. <coughs> um, and um, so yes. we don't, you know, lose the interest of the six that wanted to be on it. It would be good to sort of, you know, um, maybe connect them to the health commissioner of the district that they're in right now. Mm. So then the health commissioner can be in touch with that person and maybe create like a liaison in, in case that they want to leave. Unless, you know, so we don't have to start from zero. Uh, That's a good idea. Very good idea. I'll make a note of that. That's a very, very good idea. Okay. Other questions, concerns? All right. Moving on to item number two, discussion on guest speakers for the 2019 Los Angeles City Health Commission meetings. So at our last commission meeting, we had come up with a list of topics. Um, and I actually took the time to uh, put them in a table, and I can share this later, um, but I was wanting to start to think of folks um, to be those guest speakers. We had um, uh, interest in healthcare, specifically things around emergency room time waits, emergency mental health beds, um, a lot of concern around housing and homelessness. Um, and things like STD rates. So I just wanted to bounce it back to you all if you had ideas on who could come and present. And I know it's a, we ha it's, the list is pretty long. I have the paper here. So I don't know if we wanna go one by one, if I should just send this back out to you and then you all can kind of respond if that would be a better way to do that. Oh yeah, I forgot we can't really do that, can we? Okay, so yeah. <laughs> so we have to do that. What's the strategy for that? Possible speakers, and then after that, executive committee meets, and then plans the speakers going forward. That would be acceptable. But if you you can't send an email out to everyone. So that might be an option. With the question, <coughs> so the executive committee is the president and the two vice president, or is that? I would have to. Make, I would have to look at the at the bylaws, but I believe that would be the yes. Normally, that would be. Okay. Okay. Um, Another question, though, really quickly. I can at least share this list, though, right? Because this is a list that we all kind of put together. Right? We can, this can go back to them at least to look at without necessarily having a conversation. Hey, this is what we talked about. Well, it's an email with everyone on there. It would still be a, okay. a violation. Okay. What if she Perfect. So, question, submits it as an official document to the clerk, and the clerk sends it out along with the minutes? Is that possible let me let me think about that and then I will get back to you on that okay okay so that then we we need to figure that process out I mean worst case uh, <coughs> we have item it. three discussions from last meeting most of it's under there yeah it is um, so we could go off that list right so I mean we can take a few minutes now if there are people that you know that are experts that can speak to some of these topics so that we can start um, to think about how we're gonna do our meetings for next year, that would be great. Um, otherwise, we'll have to do the executive committee option. Okay, <laughs> executive committee option, all right. That's what we will do. And that's so how would this work? Um, the executive committee would come up with a list and they would present it to the rest of the commission? It, it could be an agenda item on uh, the next meeting if that is uh, how, you know, for discussion, you know, a report or an, an agenda item discussing the future speakers that propose dates, future speakers, propose topics. Okay. And would there be a chance to, like, 
add to that, or is this going to be the definitive list coming out of the executive committee? No, I, I just think that if rather if if you want to have a full discussion now, you're more than welcome to, because obviously you're all here. That that's certainly possible. If you wanted to narrow down your proposals, um, not here. If you want to do an executive committee, then present it to the full commission. Then obviously it would be a discussion, and every commissioner would be able to weigh in. Yeah, I think we should probably wait. Um, one of our vice presidents isn't here. Um, we might be having a new commissioner come. Probably should wait and do it next month using the executive committee option. Sound good? Okay, that sounds good to me. Okay. Okay. We do have com uh, public comment for item number two. Puppet. Another great turnout here today. <laughs> yes. So who should we have as guest speakers? Well, you really don't have anybody that comes to these meetings. The only thing you're worried about is how much you're going to have for lunch and coffee. You haven't said the magic word, typhus. You got all these people out with typhus. Why? because your favorite people, the homeless, that you like to house on the streets, are now giving us typhus. <laughs> yes, you get bit by bugs, and then you become sick, and then you have to go to the hospital and die. Yes, you could have stopped it all if you would have listened to me. <laughs> I've told you for years now. Clean up those goddamn homeless encampments. You don't listen to puppets. No, you listen to puppet mayors and puppet politicians instead of a little tiny goat like myself <laughs> that knows the truth. Now you want to take our tennis courts in MacArthur Park called Lafayette Park. You'd want to take our tennis courts that we've had for 55 years in the community so you can house more and more of these typhus and hepatitis A spreading nuclear bombs that you call homeless. You people are so blind. And you know what you're going to do? You're going to vote Democrat. Amy, Amy Grant. I'm so special. I'm better than Donald Trump. I'm going to vote for Democrats. Democrats kill people, yes. Donald Trump at least tries to save a few of us. Fuck you, 42 U.S.C. 1983. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to item number three. Update on Los Angeles City Health Commission annual report. We have public comment. Once again, from Puppet. <clears throat> yes. You read the report? No, I don't read any of your goddamn reports. I don't have to. None of you in this room have read the report. Because what does the report say? It doesn't mention typhus. It doesn't mention hepatitis A. The solution is clean up all these homeless encampments, burn all the goddamn shit, and move these people out to the desert for quarantine. That's the answer. But you guys, mm, you don't feel good. I'm a liberal. I'm a liberal. I want to spend $200 million and then another billion dollars because I'm going to solve the homeless problem. No, you're not. You're a failure. This commission is a failure. It's as dead as Bill Rosenthal's cock. It's dead. This is a dead commission. This commission must come to an end. It must stop. It's a waste of money. You're doing nothing to deal with the public health outbreaks we're suffering from. And I go down, well, my friend here, drives down Saturday night to go visit LeBron James. You know what? 
he couldn't get a goddamn ticket to LeBron James because he's got a stiff all over the homeless encampments under the 101 freeway and all of the other streets, Chick Hearn Court, homeless. Figueroa, homeless. More homeless. And then worst of all, one of them threw a goddamn rock through Mr. Spindler's truck two weeks ago and broke in. They're sick of this shit. Get rid of these motherfuckers. Get rid of them, call Donald Trump, and send the goddamn Marines into downtown Los Angeles. Fuck you. So uh, our intern, Matthew Crane, has been, as you all know, working really hard on our uh, Health Commission annual report. And there are really no um, significant updates, only to say that we're still trying to get input from Commissioner Shannon. I know she had some concerns. We haven't been able to reach her. So I think at, at some point, we'll just have to move forward um, with, the, with the hopes of getting this finalized next month. Um, we still have the draft. Hopefully you all have seen the draft. And if there are any additional questions, concerns, please let me know or let um, Matt Crane know. Any questions, comments about the annual report? I mean, we're getting to the point where it's gonna probably run into next year's report. Um, so that's also another concern. this report. <laughs> Please approach. <laughs> Ready by next month. We're just trying to get Dr. Eckstein to weigh in on that third section we're talking about with the emergency medical services. Okay. I'm sorry, did you say you have spoken to Dr. Eckstein or you're waiting to speak to him? So, uh, Ms. Vick emailed him about coming in um, and I don't think he'll be able to speak at one of the meetings, so we're trying to get in touch with someone in his office just to at least get them to weigh in and provide some kind of comment on that section. Thank you. Yeah, sure. That's it. Can you yeah. So I, I've been in touch um, to get some um, recommendations and comments on the setbacks for the gas and oil mm -hmm. sites, um, and I asked it to be ready this month and, I'm, and it still hasn't come to me but if it does come in time I'd like to forward it to you. Perfect. Would that be okay? Yes. And also you know we had I don't know if anyone um, the black lofts the closeness of the apartments to the, the freeways uh, did anyone get in touch um, with that? We had a speaker. Right. Uh, no. I haven't reached out. Okay. I'll make a note. Okay, we've, talk, we've hit all of our agenda items. It was a very short meeting today. Lots of updates though. Um, I'm glad we have made some leeway with our vacant com commission seats. Um, and we'll keep pushing forward with our report. Um, we're moving to adjourn. When's the next meeting be? November. It was the next meeting. It couldn't be on the second Monday for some reason. Right, right because it's Veterans Day. Okay. So it would be the following week, I believe it's the 19th. 19th. Yeah. The 19th. Okay. So our next meeting will be November 19th. Move to adjourn. I'll move to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Okay. Oh. Meeting adjourned.